So what's up, what's up mga ka-PJ? It's me again, yung Diyos ng mga ka-PJ. For today's video, sasakay kami ng cruise, o diba? Sa Shelby Park Harbor Cruise si Madam, o diba? Ganon, papatak sa inyo kung anong tour namin for this wonderful harbor cruise. Kaya samahan nyo ako, ano pa hinihintay nyo mga ka-PJ? Ito na, papakita ko sa inyo. PJ, my name is Jay De La Cruz, and I'm your Diyos ng mga ka-PJ. Come and watch my adventure, but don't forget to like and subscribe. Magsasot ka ba? Or ibibij ka ta? Ganar! Excited ba kayong sumakay sa cruise? Ayan! Ayan. Ayan. Are you guys excited? Parang hindi, hindi kita yung excitement nyo. Parang hindi kita. Kailangan nyo nakabuka kayo. Yes! Ganon! Parang nakabuka ka, excitement. Ganon! Diba? Yan ang mga sasakay sa mga harbor cruise. Oo, oh, diba? Excited ang mga, ano na to, mga ka-BJ na to. Tsaka, ayan. Mga 10-10 daw yung boarding, pero 10.45 yung sailing niya. So, we have time to, you know, take pictures, makapag-vlog-vlog man lang. Kaya, ayun. Ito na, pagkata ko sa inyo. Hinihingal na ako mga ka-video sensya na. Pasensya na kayo. Lamig na lamig, te. <laughs> si Mariba, lamig na lamig. Mariba. Mariba, bilhin mo na tayo ng jacket dito, tapos uli natin mamaya. <laughs> Sabi namin, ah, oh, it didn't fit me well. <laughs> Dito kami po. Dito kami sa Chica, ayan. Sa Argo Sea Cruises. So, it's $35 US for one hour for adult. Pero pag senior is um, $32. So, yes, $32. $32 a month. Dito sa sakin namin cruise. Ayan o, yun siya o That's where it is Tapos it's gonna take us everywhere Papakita yung Seattle skyline Papakita yung Ano, ayan Ayan, sasakay Ayan, ayan, ayan Ayan, ayan, ayan Ayan, ayan, ayan Ayan, ayan, ayan Ayan ang mga sasakay Ah, dito pala mali pang maganda Ano ba yan? Sayang. Kala ko magkakaroon ako ng American boyfriend. Feeling ko pa naging jowa ko, ililipat ako ng Seattle. Ay, talaga. <laughs> Pag naging jowa ko si Kuya, lilipat ako ng Seattle. Dito na ako titira. Tapos taga Vancouver din pala siya. <laughs> Kapit bahay ko pala. Kapit bahay ko pala. Diba? Ayan, excited na kami. Nagpa-picture kami. Nagpa-picture kasi kami. Tapos may dumating na parang puti na American. Kinagustuhan nila. Nagwapuhan sila. Kaya ayun. So... Ayan, ito na kami. Ano ba? Excited na sila sa Makai. So, we're still waiting for the boarding. Ayan. Ito, papunta naman sa kabilang island. Ito na yung sakit. Siya kami mamaya. So, ayan, magche-check in na po sila. Pag-alari ko, tagakuha ng ticket, Charot. Okay, come on, ladies, tell me your ticket. Come on. She wants to apply here. She wants to work here. So now we're about to board. We're about to board sa Argosy Cruise. Feeling namin kami lang apat lang nag sa cruise. Feeling ko apat lang tayo. Ay, di ba marami pala ako? Marami pala tayo. Pero we're first one in the, first one on the line. Ano ba? First one to board the Argosy. Ano ba? Yes. Dito tayo. Ayan. Dito na kami. Ayan. Ayan. Peter is his name. He's gonna be our tour guide. See? I'm listening. I'm listening. He's our tour guide. Yes. Then to na kami. I'm dami na ng lalay na. Ba ayan na. See? To na kami. Excited na sila. Oh. The first harbor tour, which is the 10:45 in the morning. Ayan. Excited. Little picture vlog to. Oh, so yeah. Excited na kami apat sa makaydis. 
Harbor Cruise. Sana na ito yung jowa ko. Nasaan naman yung American boy? <laughs> Nalampas mo na yun. Nung pisang ko. Ayun, yes. Ano ba yan? Eh. Tapos pala binilhan natin, natin siya ng ticket para makasakay din siya. Pisang, para sa Harbor na. Cruise, doon ko siya sasakyan. Kaya gano'n ako. Diyan na kayo sa taas. Pala kayo dyan. Dito ako nag-i-enjoy ako dito sa makasakay. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ko, bahala kayo na basta ako may kumakabayo sa akin dito sa likod. What? Bakit alam? Sino ba sila? Hindi sila, wala sila ang baksa buhay ko. Ganon, ganon. Ganyan dapat ang mga vlogger. Huwag kayo may hiya. Makapala na mukha dito. This is America. Kailangan makapala mukha dito. That, that is so old-fashioned. Eh. Old-fashioned na yan. Hindi na uso yan. Hindi, oh, hindi na uso ang ka kahiya dito. Ako hindi ko nahihiya. Nahihiya ka ba? Mahihain ka ba girl? Oh, diba? Mahihain ka ba girl? Ito mahihain eh. Virgin pa kasi siya. Ako hindi na. Diba? Ganon. Ano na buhay namin. Kaya ako masaya kasi nakakita ako ng inspiration ngayon. Feeling ko, pag, nag -tag, pag nagkita uli kami, we're meant to be. Meant to be. We're meant to be. Ayoko yan, pang matanda yan. This is for Korea. This is from Korea. Ate, yung Korean to. Korean kasi ako, may ligaw ko sa uh, kimchi. Hindi ako may ligaw sa kiki, Meron sa kimchi ako mahilig. Meron nga may una, isa, tapos nagdalawa, tapos no, nagtatlo, no, no, no. may apat pa yata. Ayaw, oh, hindi pa kami. Alam mo, may pa-surprise sila sa akin. Hindi nila sila sabi magkukurus pala kami ngayon. My God, like this is so surprising. Grabe, nagulat ako. Diba? Sabi nila magpipicture lang sa Seattle, sa Space Needle, tapos pupunta ng ganun. Pero magkukrus? Wala sa plano. For $35, eh, ikot ka na may malaki kang barco eh. Yeah. Why not? Diba? Once in a lifetime experience. Tama. May kinakwento sa akin si Kapsat, hindi daw kayo, ano, hindi kayo tumitigil sa mga pagsasama ng mga kabidya. Gusto ko lang mag-shoutout sa mga kabidya ko dyan. Sana si Darwin, si Rex, si Kuya Ras Russell, si Art Gleiza, si... Ate Shea, tsaka si Ate Wendy, ganon. Kasi Mama na rin, Mama Isabel, ganon. Hey, my friend! Sana kasama kita dito. Bagong classmate, may pa-shoutout, o, di ba? May pa-shoutout si bagong classmate, girl. My friend! Ayun, thank you so much for supporting my mga ka-BJ. Okay, moment ulit. At kay Mami Elsa, stay pretty and sexy as you are. Sabi niya, ganon. Hindi pa yung mama mo ang sexy-sexy ng mama mo, nakaka-inis. Sana, o. Siya ng idol ko, ganon. I wish you were here. Wala, kasama siya si Anna. Kasama ni Anna yun. Nandun sila sa pros din. Palitan ko na pangalan kong Anna para tayo na magkasama. Ikaw na si Anna. Ito yan, Elsa. Ikaw na si Anna tsaka si Elsa. Correct. Ikaw na si Anna tsaka si Elsa. Oo, diba? Dapat ka na lang lang gawin mo, te. Ayan, diba? Oo. At taray, oh. May pagano'n, oh. May pagano'n siya, oh. Sabihin mo, ito yung mga taong sasakay ng mga cruise. Ayan, oh. Gano'n katame. Diba? Ayan sila, oh. Pak. Say hello to my subscribers. Hello. Wala, nakakalungkot kayo. Nakakalungkot. Ay, hindi. Sila. Sila magsasabi. Ayan, oh. Sabihin niya, hello, mga ka-BJ. Hello, mga ka-BJ. Dapat may expression gano'n. Hello. Ganon, o, diba? Ayan, o. Ayan na, boring. Boring na kami. Follow her. Thank you. Follow her. Ayan na, we're boring. First one on the left. First one. And that's how we're just about to board. Boarding this spirit of Seattle. So many. Ay, hindi pala yon. It's not that one. I thought it was that one. Salish Explorer. Oh, is that the one we're riding on? Yeah, just on this ramp right here. Oh, okay, thank you. Right thank you. Hello. Let's go, people. Oh yes, it's still good morning. <laughs> How are you doing today? Not too bad. We're excited because it's our first time. Uh, right here. To okay. The left. Oh, okay. To the left. Right here to the left. Thank you. Oh, I am sure. Oh, yes, there's it to the left. Okay, let's go. Ayan siya, ayan siya, ayan ang loob. 
We're going upstairs. Hello. This one? Okay, thank you. Stairs to Sun Deco. Dito na pala, pwede na tayong kamain eh. Ay, dito maganda mamaya ako mag-jack. Jack, hold me. Ganon. Ang ganda. Ayaw ko nga. Ayan o. Nice. We're going up here. Upper deck. Woo! Hello! Good morning! Thank you! First time! Oh, we are so happy to have you! Thank you! Oh, nice! Oh, it's nice to get married here too! Mmm, ganito! It's nice! Where do you want to sit? No, we have to sit here! So yes, nandito na kami sa cruise. We're in America. Oh, di ba? Oh, nakasakay kami sa cruise for today. It's gonna be an hour tour cruise. Oh, yan. Oh, di ba? Oh, my God. It's so beautiful. Look at this. Beautiful, the weather is so beautiful. So are we all excited to ride? Oh, yeah, no. Excited to come here. Excited to come here. Ito tayo tambay. Ito yung ating territory. <laughs> dito lang tayo kasi dito ako magbo-vlog. Magbo-vlog tayo dito kaya dito kami sa taas na ito. Sino ba sabi? Walang bawal-bawal dito, Amerika to. <laughs> Mag-American citizen na ako. <laughs> kasi nakita ko na yung destiny ko. Sarap. Wow, 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 ang al al kano. Grabe yung support mo sa akin. Ramdam na ramdam ko yun. Ramdam na ramdam ko yung support mo sa akin, girl. Gusto mo akong sumaya. Ramdam na ramdam ko yun. Ah, pakasaya nun. Sayo ng love life ko nun. Thank you so much. Tsara. Diba? Ayan na. Ayan sila. Oh. Excited? Nice. O, diba? Beautiful. Next time, punta kayo dito sa Miss Seattle. Tapos mag-harbor cruise kayo. Mura lang siya for one hour trip. You're gonna enjoy it, diba? Ayan sila, oh, oh. So, nawawala na naman yung araw. Sana lumabas ka, diba? Ayan, si Araw. Ah, ito yung... 10.45 pa yung ano namin. I think ito yung cruise line nila eh, yung ano, para sa ating busy ferries, ito naman sa kanila yung ganyan. Ito yung going to another island. Uh, I think, no, I think it's bigger than that. It's 
Oh, Good morning, everyone, and welcome for the Salish Explorer for your Whatever Harbor tour. Before we get underway, I'm on the lot. I'm the lot. I'm the lot. I'm on the lot. I'm on the lot. I'm on the lot. I'm on the lot. I'm how do you feel, Ate? How do you feel? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I didn't know that we were going to sing. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. I'm here. I want to go to the office. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank So, ayan. Sila, upo sila. Ako, mag-vlog ako. Gusto ko mag-vlog. Bakit ba? Gusto ko mag-vlog. Naglalakit lakad ako. Sa cruise na to. Ito nga pala ang cruise ko. Ito yung mga tauhan ko dito sa cruise. Sila yung may ano. Sila yung mga tagalinges, tagahugas, tapos taga-drain ng mga dumi. Ganon. Ano ba? Beautiful. I see the water all over. And then I'll have a few more words after that one. Excited match? So there you go. Excited match or what? Get on. Passengers. That means we have life savings equipment on board. We're under the first and second decks. As well as under the forward seat. We're moving. We're moving now. Blackguards with dining instructions can be found throughout the vessel. The event of an emergency, ah, life jackets will be made available and proper dining instructions will be given. Nice. The Salish Explorer is equipped with life floats and life rafts, which crew have been trained to deploy in the event of an emergency. Emergency exits can be found on the first deck on both the port and starboard sides. A few more people making their way onto the vessel and oh, uh, so just no? waiting for... Yeah, a few more people. We're waiting for a few more people, but I'll back up in my And then, uh, the fast Wow. Moving so... Uh, so Seattle. Ain't that low.
Bye bye. As I said, my name is Josh. I'm pretty new to the area. I just moved here to Seattle back in October. Well, I've learned a lot of things about Seattle in general, just from here and talking to a lot of locals and visitors, a lot of people I work with, and just the general information I have. Ano tayo mga sumama? Kind of comes from a lot of sources. I have picture ka jan. Wait, wait, one, two, three. Wait, just point out really quick as we pass by the giant stairs. It's really hard to see on our right hand side there. This whole area, the red building and all that fun stuff, is called Miner's Landing. However, that is a bit of a missile. Bye bye. Yeah, we're gonna go there later. Ayana. Oh, yeah. Kasha ng apat jan. We're trying to do some repairs and such on it. Bye. Nice. Kaya mo yan. This is the Seattle. But it does give us a nice wide view of Seattle Aquarium. Seattle Aquarium. Ata pala Seattle Aquarium. Visiting us today with a city pass that is one of the attractions. I really recommend it. And the cruise. I'm going to say you're going to be on the Marine Life Service. Now we have the Puget Sound area. There's one exhibit that has more tropical fish and such creatures in it. But most of the things you see there are things if you were to go scuba diving in a frigid water. Capsat, Capsat! Capsat! As I promised, and the region tour if you want to go on a cruise oh from Seattle. Dr. Yeah, the region tour. No, oh, this one I think the overnight. Alaska, yeah, Alaska. These are required to be placed out anytime there is a ship. Then the ship. This one looks like it has water park up on top. I've seen some of these cruise ships that have go kart tracks up on top. There's one of them like a for skydiving area on the rear, so you can go no. up there and you can skydive and look out over the ocean during your cruise. It's a very cool time. We'll get to see one more cruise ship a little bit later at our second cruise terminal. We currently have two here in Seattle. And the cruise industry is pretty big for Seattle. It's Brings in quite a bit of money for us each ship that is bringing in about $4.5 million dollars to our economy. And this summer is set to be one of our busiest summers ever. So, so ayan, ako naman ang tingnan niya. Oh, diba? Exact number is my view. You can see Seattle back there. Busiest we are slated to be. Try to take advantage of a lot of people wanting to do stuff. Beautiful. I'll point out that next to the ship. Beautiful. Once in a lifetime experience. It's going to be this gray and yellow building with the red bees up on top. This is going to be the hotel of the Yard Hotel. This was built back in 1962 with hopes of taking advantage of some nine to nine and a half. Sana nandito yung Jowa. Jowa. Oh, wala naman ako Jowa. Unfortunately, due to ah, so, the difficulty of building on the pier on the water, there were so many delays. See the Seattle of the high beach and the ocean. It did not open until about two weeks after the fair left Seattle. So, we decided to get a nice big one. Why don't we give people a fishing pole in our pocket when they check in and then they'll fish out their window? Which sounds like a really good idea until you think about it for just a couple of seconds because. When's the best time to fish? 4 4.30, 5.30, when the sun's just barely kicking out, if at all. So you have people on the lower levels who are trying to sleep in on their vacation, and then suddenly they got thumping up their wall because somebody above them managed to catch a fish. 
So now you have guests unhappy because they woke up early in the morning on their vacation. Beauty. And then on top of that, there's a lot of people who didn't know what to do with the fish. They knew we were in salt water, so they tried to preserve their fish and keep them alive by filling up their bathtub with water and throwing coffee and table salt in there. If you know anything about salt water, that's not at all how that works. It didn't, it was messy and gross. Some people would try to actually gut their fish in the hotel room and that left a lot of viscera all over the place. No. So it house keep them very unhappy as well. Despite all the complaints from so, past year yeah, starting here, we are coming up on our closest and most unobstructed view of the Space Needle or Seattle's most iconic me. structures that you can see. Yeah. So if you want to take a photo of that, now is a great time to kind of reposition. You're not stuck to your seats. Okay. Wait, that would be kind of cool. So I have... So the point is to visit another really nice... I'm enjoying the music. Love it. I love up my life. So blessed. Oh my god, look at that. So beautiful. Papa, can you see your space needle? Space needle. And if that's not enough park for you, you can keep walking along. There's this other stretch of land. Let's see the whole skyline of Seattle. notice that Seattle is becoming something of a concrete jungle like New York City, Chicago, nice. etc. She wasn't too thrilled about that. She worked together with her co-workers on the council and they worked yeah, together to pass an ordinance that said that all Seattleites should be within walking distance of a park or some sort of green space. So due to her efforts, Seattle actually has the most parks per capita of any metropolitan Summer, people still were swimming in this water because even on those hottest days, the water never went down to Seattle. It's still not even Vancouver. We didn't come here. We came 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 I like to expect the unexpected. Hindi mo yung expect na ma kumat. Ito yung may experience mo all throughout this day. Ganon. Katapos ito, marami pa kami pupunta na destination. Pero for now, papakita sa inyo yung process. Beauty. You should experience this. It's a lot of experience. So, ano ko itong bitaas? Dito ako nagbablog. So, it can be Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
Solution yung sasakyan natin Ito yung sasakyan natin Papuntang Vancouver Kung sa namin mag-cruise ayan na sa nasakyan Seattle to Vancouver Dito wala
Francis de Cote. So for now, yan po na pinagayon yan. Skyline na yan. Skyline lang. Yan ako. Buto na lang talaga. Thank you Lord. Pinagbigyan po kami hindi umuulan. Thank you Lord. So beautiful. Yan ako ba? Grabe yung hangin. Kumigit po sa bukas para sa mga aking chat. memories. Hindi ko na alam yung mga memories na iyan. Alam ko may bagong dating na ano eh. Na... Pag chararat, hindi ko kilala. sa bakla. Hindi ba pwede mo siya bumuha ng Japanese na Filipino? Kasi allergic ka sa taho. Ayoko ng taho. Ayoko ng mga tahong. Mga, mga, ano, ano ba yung mga mababaho, taho. Yeah. 23 years ago before I quit. Kay nam nam, kui na sa na taho. Taho, pila tala lyrics tika na taho, tika na tika na informed. Kay nam nam, kui na sa na puwet. Pinapatawa ko lang sila. Oh, di ba? Kasi ba ito? Wow. Wow. 
may pinagdadaanan si ate tapos mo yan may pinagdadaanan ka <laughs> may pinagdadaanan si ate sabi ko kasi huwag ka magyo-jowa sakit sa ulo lang ang jowa huwag ka magyo-jowa mag-drugs ka na lang <laughs> para high ka lang palagi diba? ganon charot 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 kira si ate I'm a such a joker. I'm going to show you something. 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 Morasal vlog ko. Bawal po yan. Bawal po magmura sa vlog ko. Sorry. Not allowed in my vlogs. Okay? Bawal yung mga ganyan. Ganyan. I just want to... Pero buti na lang na sa alis ko.
larger ships, like the cruise ships you saw being fueled earlier there, too large and not maneuverable enough to get into these, these docks to fuel up. So that's why they have the fuel barges, the bunker barges that go out to them as kind of mobile gas stations. That barge you see there that has all the cars and stuff on top is most likely heading up to Alaska in the end. And so this is how we get a lot of things up to Alaska that we can't get there via other means such as train. There's no direct train line to get all the way up there due to the mountains and the terrain. So we take a barge and ship it on up there that way. The whole area behind the maximum control the yards there you'll notice is very flat. Nagdadala ng mga boxes sa Pilipinas there on the dock and drive 
drives those trucks. They are still part of the union that are called Longshoremen, but the guys specifically who drive those little semi trucks that aren't semi trucks, they're called hustlers. So guys, you just move the containers around until they are put onto the actual trailer for the semi truck to move on its own. We turn around to get ready to exit the waterway here. Off to our right, you're going to notice a clock tower there with American flag up on top of some of your green lines. But they are the kind of that did mention it and pull them all right out. Headquarters of Starbucks are there. They are located there. So a lot of the empty ones just end up getting stuck here. And people can actually buy them. I think they're on Amazon for about $2,500. Oh, they're wow. not included with your prime shipping, so oh, don't expect free two-day shipping, shipping on that. <laughs> but you can buy them. In fact, yeah, Starbucks has purchased quite a few of them and have turned them into drive through stores. So if you know exactly where to look, you can actually do a drive through store. Go to a drive through store that is based out of one of these empty The United States Coast Guard, this is where they are based out of. We still have a couple ships there, but none of the ones that we are going to see are active duty. They all have been mothballed, mothballed and or sold. Uh, the one that's all the way to the right there with the yellow stacks, you can just see them poking over the building there. That's going to be the Polar Sea. It has a sister ship called the Polar Star, which is making her way back here. She's done with her mission. She was down in, I believe, San Diego for some dry docking and repairs. The Polar Sea is mothballed and they are using her as a park ship for her sister. So she just kind of hangs out here and we get to see her every day as we drive by. Those two gray ships to the left are the ones that have been sold. These are old Hamilton class cutters for the Coast Guard. They are painted gray and they're painted pretty neutral because right now they're undergoing some training for their new home. They, excuse me, these ships have been sold to Sri Lanka. So they're gonna, once they're done with repairs and training, they're gonna be moved on over across the globe where they're gonna serve, serve in their new country. However, we're gonna stop talking about ships for just a minute as we move into the next section of our tour here. It's the stadium district. Clearly, it only takes two stadiums to make an entire district, but here it is. On the right side, we have the T-Mobile Park. It has those kind of gray X structures up on top. This is going to be home of the Seattle Mariners, our baseball team. A fun thing about this building, there's a couple of fun things about this building. So when it was built, it was the most expensive single-use building that had ever been constructed. And a large part of that is due to the roof itself. The entire ceiling is retractable. So if it starts to rain, if there's a game that's supposed to happen, they can push a button and in about 10 to 15 minutes, that ceiling will be closed up. But it's just, it's high enough that it still kind of has that open air feeling. To, so that you can enjoy baseball the way it was really intended as an outdoor sport without getting rained on. The ceiling itself has so much steel in it, they wanted to get out yeah, much more than I can probably do. And they noticed uh, after some co comparisons that at the exact same time that touchdown occurred was when that earthquake happened. So it led them to install some equipment around Lumen Field. So now anytime there is a game going on, they can monitor the seismic activity that the fans are creating and they actually will show you just how loud you're being and um, they have like a scale on their TV that they will show you and tell you just how loud it is. It gets up to about 130 decibels at, time, at times, which has been described as uh, a 747 jet going off right next to your ear. It's very incredibly loud. That apartment is, uh, it was recently went up for lease and the lady who was originally leasing it decided to move out and she put it up for a measly $17,000 a month. The guy who ended up actually signed the lease, he was silver-tongued enough to talk her down to a much more manageable $13,000 a month. So he now is residing in that pyramid. It does come with its perks, however. That dome you see up on top is kind of an observatory slash roofing room that looks straight down into Lumen Field. So up in that little dome, you can look down into the windfield. You never have to buy a ticket to a game. So, oh, wow. I guess if that makes it worth it to you to spend that much money on an apartment, there's your option. Keep your eye on that guy. 
just below that apartment, you can see the kind of balcony that goes around. That's going to be a speakeasy themed bar that you can go and visit and get some cool views of the sound and the bay. The, we also have a power and uh, Lynn has to keep current on the information, so I have to him for that great tour. And uh, as we head on in, we did want to ask everyone a couple small favors and let you know that you'll be exiting down the after back side of the vessel. We will have here over here on the uh, top deck or second deck at all. Uh, and uh, if you don't mind uh, dropping any glass for up at the bar, and while doing so, maybe close out any bar caps if you want to open. And uh, maybe any crap doors or things like that. That will help us out in advance. That ends up on another trip. That is the end of our cruise tour. Loading the Amisa, loading the Amisa. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that vlog. Until my next vlog, I'll be here. Bye bye.